Welcome, dear friends. Today, I want to explore an intriguing question with you. What does your birth date reveal about your karma and your purpose in this life? It's a question that has fascinated people for centuries. And while it might seem mysterious, I have learned through my own journey that there is wisdom in understanding why we were born at a particular time, under certain circumstances. It is said that each of us arrives in this world with certain karmic seeds and unique gifts. If we can understand these better, we can bring more purpose, peace, and fulfillment into our lives. Let me begin with a story from my own life. As a young monk, I was always searching for meaning, often wondering, why am I here? What is my purpose? My teacher would often remind me, purpose is not something to be found but something to be realized within. One day, he handed me a simple task, tending the garden. At first, I thought this task had no spiritual significance. But as I dug, planted, and cared for each seed, I began to realize a profound truth. Like the garden, our life purpose grows and unfolds slowly, with care and patience. Sometimes, it takes time for us to see the purpose that is already within us, waiting to be brought to life. To understand our purpose, it's helpful to look at karma. Karma is not simply cause and effect, it's the accumulated energy of our past actions, thoughts, and intentions. The circumstances of our birth, the time, the place, the family we're born into, are not random. They are like the soil that nourishes our growth. Each of us comes into this world with certain karmic lessons to learn. And often, these lessons are reflected in the patterns of our lives. Have you ever noticed that certain experiences or types of people seem to come into your life again and again? These recurring patterns are often karmic opportunities for growth. Let's take a closer look at how your birth date can give you clues to your life purpose. Each day, each month, each year carries a unique energy. If you were born on a specific day, for example, it may align you with certain qualities or strengths. Some people are natural teachers, some are healers, some are creators, and some are leaders. The day you were born might reveal which gifts you are meant to develop, not as labels or limitations but as guides to your deeper purpose. I remember meeting a fellow monk whose birth date was said to be aligned with compassion and care. Indeed, he was always the first to offer help, to listen, and to comfort others. Through him, I saw how our purpose can emerge naturally when we recognize and embrace our unique gifts. Another aspect of purpose is the challenges we face. Often, our karmic path is not about avoiding difficulties but about growing through them. Challenges are not obstacles to happiness but invitations to transform. There is an old teaching that says, just as a lotus blooms from the mud, our greatest strengths are born from our struggles. Take a moment to reflect on a challenge in your life. What might it be teaching you? Perhaps it's inviting you to become more resilient, to cultivate patience, or to open your heart to others. These challenges are not random, they are purposeful, helping us to fulfill our life's mission. A key to understanding karma and purpose is mindfulness. When we live mindfully, we begin to notice the patterns, the subtle connections, and the lessons woven throughout our lives. With mindfulness, we are able to see that each day is a part of a larger journey, a path leading us toward the fulfillment of our purpose. I encourage you to spend a few moments each day in quiet reflection. Simply sit with yourself and observe, without judgment. Ask, what is life asking of me today? Sometimes the answer may surprise you. Sometimes it is a call to take action, and other times, it is a call to simply be still and observe. There is also the aspect of service in our life purpose. Each of us is born not only for ourselves but for others. Our purpose is deeply connected to how we can serve the world. If you have been given a gift, a talent, a skill, a unique perspective, it is not only for your own happiness but to uplift those around you. Reflect on how your purpose might bring light to others. I have found that true fulfillment comes when we realize that our life's work is meant to bring peace, joy, or understanding to others. When we align our actions with this intention, our purpose becomes clear, and life begins to flow naturally. Sometimes, people feel overwhelmed, unsure of their purpose. But remember, dear friend, purpose is not a destination, it's a journey. Each day, each moment, is a chance to discover a little more of who you are and why you are here. If you feel lost, know that you are simply being guided to find yourself more deeply. And if you feel that you have a purpose within you, trust it. Nurture it, like a seed in a garden. It will grow, in its own time, into something beautiful. 
Thank you for joining me today on this journey into karma, birth, and purpose. Remember, your purpose is not something to seek outside of you, it is something to uncover within. I invite you to subscribe, like, and share this video with anyone who might be searching for meaning. And in the comments, share with me, what purpose do you feel calling you in your heart?